Hey, what's going on, Luke here, and once again, we are back to do another Rebel League Life Force simulation. This time, State of Origin, Game 2, 2021. In the first game of the series, obviously, New South Wales won in real life. They also won on the game. Now, normally, if they win on the game, they end up losing in real life, but this wasn't the case. So the question remains, will the Omen stay? Will New South Wales be able to pick up victory, or will Queensland hit back, at least on Rebel League Life 4? Now, let's not waste any more time. Let's jump on to Rebel League Life 4, and let's see who picks up the victory. So on Rebel League Life 4, you can see on the screen right now, 10-minute halves. Don't normally do that, but we're switching it up this time. It's at Suncorp Stadium, State of Origin markings, we're ready to go. So here we have it, the Queensland Maroons up against the New South Wales Blues, obviously both in real life and on the game, like I said earlier, the Blues have won both of them. Blues won super convincingly in game one uh, on Rebel League Live 4, as well as in real life as well. I'm being seen the lineup here, Junior Polo comes into the starting lineup, Jake Dubojevic is out. The only change really, as Angus Crichton comes back into the side, it's a very, very good side. Even on Rebel League Live 4, it's super good. And you've got to remember, I do use custom rosters, so the overalls are a lot different what they probably would be if you played it. Case in point, Reese Walsh. I think he's like 60 odd rated. On here, I've got him as an 82 rated. So he's super quick, doesn't have much strength about him, but he's super quick, super nippy. New South Wales will definitely have to watch out for him. So Nathan Cleary to get the game underway. Can New South Wales go 2 and 0 and win the series in this one? We'll have to wait and see. Felice Cavusi taking the first hit up. Pretty simple hit up there. No big hits. I was hoping for a big hit. Queensland, 30 meter line, going to the right. Stan Gagler stepping around. I think it was Tom Jaboyevich, to be honest with you. Might have been Latrell was one of the two. Going to the left, Queensland. That's, oh, it's actually a good ball. I thought it was going to be intercepted for a second. Set, oh, they've hit Tino. Big Tino, they, he just invades the defender. I think it was Tedesco going for the ankle tap, and Tino just jumped straight over the top of him. What a force he is on Rebel League Life 4. Whether I use him, whether I'm against him, Tino is so hard to stop, and New South Wales have felt the full brunt of that. So who'd have thought Queensland would have struck first? We have Valentine Holmes extending the lead. It is 6-0 to Queensland. I can't believe I'm actually saying that. Queensland looking to get out of their own end just after the kickoff. And it's Tino again. He's just scored a try. Now he's breaking tackles. What? He's so good in this game, man. And he wins a penalty too. What are New South Wales doing? Queensland looking to take advantage of the penalty. Can they strike? I reckon if they... Oh, if they score another try here, it's Reese Walsh. If they can score another try, they might wrap this game up. Looks like they've got a play going to the right. They do. Oh, they put in a grubber. Did that go to the sideline? Or go? I think I might have went dead. That's a terrible kick. Very, very close to the side of the Maroons. And they step up play. It's Kyle Felt this time. I've used Kyle Felt. He's very good in the game too. They've actually got a lot of players stepping tackles here. They're making a lot of line breaks. Set nut. Looks to be... Oh, it's not quite a 40-20. I thought they were going to go for a 40-20 there. Set just a simple fifth tackle option there. It's just straight down the throat. Brian Tua, he's off. I thought the train... It was actually the referee. I thought it was a Blues player. I thought he had a little bit of support there. Fifth and last for the Blues. They do need a nice kick here. Stroma White putting in the kick. Looks fairly straightforward. I think it might be Kyle Felt. What is the, What are they doing? Go on, Blues. Go on, Blues. They've held it up. Oh, they can't get to it. Kyle Felt ends up grabbing it, taking it over the dead ball line. Blues setting up to the left here. Nice little set there. Big left trail. Mitchell. Can, oh, I thought he might have got the offload away. Going to the left. Here. Oh, it's actually just a simple hit up. Isaiah. Oh, he's dragging his way over. Can I say? He goes through the goalposts. I think he's just scored. I'm fairly certain Isaiah Yo has just scored a try there. A little shitty try, but I think New South Wales will take that. I'll take it as a New South Wales fan. Even Rugby League Live 4, I want to see New South Wales win. So Isaiah Yo definitely gets the ball down. That's going to be the green lines there. Pretty simple stuff, but hey, I can see a lot of those tries. Nothing can really do there. It's just the animations of the game. So Nathan Cleary about to level things up here. It is 6 all. We have a tie ball game. Okay, coming out of their own end here. This isn't where you want to be, but James Tedesco gets us out of trouble here. That's a brick. Oh, I can't get past Reese Walsh. I thought he might have got past Reese Walsh. His defense is exactly up to scratch at the moment. He's sort of getting exposed a little bit. His attack's been good. Defense not there. Oh, it's Isaiah Yo just scored one try. He's looking for another one. Damian Cook, he's under the post. Oh, no, he's not. I was going to say he's under the post, but gets rounded up pretty quickly there. Very, very quickly. You think Damian Cook, I don't, don't know if they would have caught him there in real life. And said Angus Crichton, is he going to fall his way over the line? Isaiah Yo nearly did. Oh, well, in fact, Isaiah Yo did do it. Angus Crichton can't do it, though. Going for just a crash ball there. It is Isaiah Yo. I keep saying Isaiah. He can't score his second. I really thought Angus Crichton was going to score there for a second. Fifth tackle option, though. It is Jerome. Will oh, that's pretty... Oh, Queensland could have picked up the ball. Cameron Murray's over. Yep, that's the easiest try Cameron Murray will ever score. At least on Rubble League. Actually, that's just, that's just a standard Rubble League Life 4 try, isn't it? This is a little shitty grubber. Just like that, Queensland had the lead, and instead, looks like we're going to be going into the break with the Blues leading 12 to 6. I can't really see anything happening. Maybe Blues can extend the lead, but that's about it. One last chance before halftime. Can the Blues do something here? It's just a pretty. That's a pretty bog average kick there. Straight down the throat of Valentine Holmes, who breaks the tackle. He's up against Tedesco. He's taking him on, and of course, straight through the middle. It's not Tedesco making the tackle. It's probably a prop or something. Just rumbling life war for you. 
And that takes us to halftime there. Tino just taking the last run. Got ever so close, but he couldn't get over the line. It's 12-6 to the Blues. I don't know if it's deserved. I think Queensland have... I feel like Queensland have more of the chances, but Blues taking the opportunities when they could. Starting off the half, the Blues need to start strong, and they haven't. They haven't. They definitely haven't. Queensland looking to strike from the scrum very early on. If they can score here, this will be damaging. Oh, the Blues is... It's Reese Walsh, actually. Gets ankle tap there. The ankle tap saves the Blues. Can they continue on with this? Can oh, here they go. They've got some space. I thought Papali might have threw the pass there. I think it was Tino there next to him. Goes super close there, Papali. Or Papali, as I should say. Better get the pronunciations right. Damien Bryan to all. Oh, I can't do that. The Queensland, they're looking to strike here still. That's a nice little pass. It's Big Tino again. Well, he's on his back. I thought he was over again. I thought he was back to score his second. Blues have been getting quite lucky. Defense has sort of been okay on their goal line, but oh no. <laughs> Just as I was saying, the defense has been good. Their attack definitely hasn't been, and yet they're in front. Going to the left, going to the right, they're going to the left. It's a nice little pass. It's Kafusi. Oh, they really should not have scored that one. That is terrible defense. I was just talking about how the goal line defense been pretty good for the Blues. And then Kafusi just palms off a player. I don't know who it was, but that's just an easy palm and an easy try for Felice. It should be level in a second. Val Holmes about to make things level here. This is a very, very interesting game. Very different to game one in real life and on the game. Won't be long. We'll be looking at field goal territory here. Looking for a set play. Instead, intercepted is Damian Cook. He is a... Oh, again, it's Damian Cook. He's going to get run down. Can they set up something here, though? Okay, there's a little shitty... Du oh, no. I was like, why is he dummying? I was... Like, they never dummy. Why are they doing it there? And then all of a sudden, four pass. It makes sense. Had to kill the momentum. Fifth and last for the Maroons. Not going to take a field goal yet, but it's getting very, very close. And Adokar is the way he's taking on Reese Walsh. There's a, play, there's a play coming across. He just ran straight past him. Reese Walsh up against Adokar. He's keeping pace with him. And Reese Walsh essentially runs him down. Don't think you'll ever say that in real life, but hey, this is Rebel League Love. Set up for a field goal. What are you doing? Not even setting up for a field goal. I know it's 62 minutes, but I've had the computer kick one against me. What are they doing? Maybe a little bit too close now. Oh, they can't even throw a pass. Latrell Mitchell getting destroyed there. Come on. Get in the dummy half. Jamie Cook, it is to Jerome Luai. To Junior Polo. Can't barge his way over. Oh, he got a bit closer than I thought he would. Just if I'm not doing anything with... Oh, I thought that was intercepted. This is a terrible set, but... I feel like on Rugby League Life 4, you get to a certain point, and you get so close to the line, you can't really do anything with it. Set up to the right here for sure. Cut up. Oh no, they're setting up to the right and they go left. There was an opportunity on the right. If they just throw it to the winger, dies over and he scores. I would have scored that one. Oh, I probably wouldn't have. Blues have a chance here. I thought maybe going to set up for a 40 20. This Rugby League Life 4 wouldn't be surprised, but it's out of car again. Not going over the sideline, thankfully. Just keeping us in the game. Alright, this. Oh, it's James Tedesco. Alright, they might get in position for a field goal here. Talking earlier, they need to hit a field goal. James Tedesco and Adokar doing their best. Junior Polo, another strong run there. Surely they take a shot at field goal. Surely, it's 10 minutes left. 30 metres out, it's Jerome Luai. He absolutely nails it. Jerome Luai kicks the goal. They should have done it earlier. and said they do it now. Not going to be the last play of the game. Queensland will probably get a chance. Maybe if they get an error. But that is hot. Oh, Jerome Luai, clutch play. Blue just need to run down the clock. Need a good kick here, though. We know how devastating kick returns are in this game. They need to make this tackle. And that's... Oh, Kyle Feld again. That's not what they need. That's definitely not what they need. Queensland, another line break or two. And they're in field goal range. Man, they won't even score a try. Kyle Feld getting them off to a great start, though. Dan Gagai, that's what they need, Queensland. Can Dan Gagai get them in position? They're about as close as what New South Wales were. They just need to sort of get it a bit more central. And there's a big hit. Okay, Queensland, they are setting up for a field goal. 100%. Here we go. Cameron Mutt. Okay, Cameron Munson doesn't take the field goal. I don't know why. He also had an open trial on there, essentially. He's up against James Tedesco. I would have backed Cameron Munson. Instead, he throws an intercept. New South Wales going to win this game. I don't know how. And there you have it. New South Wales pick up the victory. 13-12. to 12. Like I said, I don't know how they won this one, but they did. They got away with that. Queensland definitely, for me, with a better side. And yet, they still won the game. Is this an omen for in real life? In the first game, New South Wales won easy on the game, and they won easy in real life. On this one, they won a tight game against Queensland at Suncorp. Is that going to happen? In real life, let me know in the comment section below. Well, I don't know about you, but I thought that was a pretty good game. 13 to 12, Damian Cook picking up man of the match. You can see some pretty decent little tries. In fact, they actually weren't pretty decent, but Damian Cook picks up man of the match. 13 to 12, a very tight affair. 
If you happen to enjoy this video, make sure you go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Also, make sure to use the notification bell. It's super important in terms of you actually seeing these videos. Sub boxes are quite dodgy, so use the notification bell and make sure you subscribe because a lot of people who watch these videos aren't subscribed. So go ahead and do that. Also, make sure to follow me on social media. It's on the screen right now. It's Mr. Luke and YT for the most part. It's Mr. Luke just for Facebook with everything else. Mr. Luke and YT. So go ahead and give me a follow. Give me a like. Do all that sort of stuff. And stay tuned for more content on the channel. Not only State of Origin stuff, but we got just normal, regular NRL, rugby league sort of stuff, but mainly State of Origin stuff for the time being. So like I said, stay tuned for more content on the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. See yous!